Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to install Zybo Content Management System on Ubuntu 15.04. Now before we go with the installation part, let me tell you about Zybo. So you can see that I have opened a website that is called zybo.org.uk. It is the main official website of Zybo and you can find that it is available for Android, it is available for Windows and it is available for Linux also. So it's a cross-platform content management system and it is powerful open source digital signage content management system and Windows Display Player software. The latest version is 1.7.6 so in this video we will be using 1.7.5 because 1.7.5 is much more stable as compared to 1.7.6. So if you click on this documentation you can find all the materials regarding the guides, regarding the user manual, regarding the community, source code and release notes. So this is just a short beginning about Zybo so let us go to Ubuntu and let us fire the installation part of Zybo uh, content management system on Ubuntu 15.04. So let us start VMware. So now you can see that I have already started 15.04 and here are the steps which I have already mentioned for you. So let us first of all log in into root. So su space minus and let us give the password. So the first command as you all know that I have already recommended you that whenever you want to do anything on Ubuntu. So first of all is that that you have to update your system. So apt hyphen get update. So as you know that Zybo is also written into PHP programming language. So if we have PHP, so we have to install the PHP 5 and also the PHP libraries and then we will be configuring that is your uh, Apache server also. Good. So let us clear this and let us install the libraries of PHP. So now you can see that I have just copied all this. So Apache 2, MySQL server, PHP, PHP 5, PHP GD, PHP MySQL and PHP 5 Emquipped. So let us paste it and let us press yes and Y. So it is about 28.6 MB. So it will not take much time to download. So after that we will be downloading the Zybo CMS and the version which is 1.7.5. You can even do 1.7.6, there is no worry but just have to change but that is 1.745 to 1.7.6. So you can do it but 1.7.5 is more comfortable so that's why I'm preferring it. So it is about 50%. So we just have to wait for one minute more to complete the download part and then Ubuntu will configure everything. So for content management system, it is very good system that is Zybo. It is one of the popular and very light also and secure also because the traffic we, we are going is with the crypt that is mcrypt so almost there So it is above 92% now. So let's wait more, just for 10 seconds more. As you can see on the right hand side, it is about one second now. 
yes so it has downloaded everything and uh, now we have to give the mysql password so let me give the password you can give any password of your choice so it is unpacking everything and it is deploying mysql So now let us download this Zybo CMS that is version 1.7.5 you can just replace it with 1.7.6 you can uh, download 1.7.6 also. So no worry rest the steps will be same just where I am putting 1.7.5 replace it with 1.7.6 or any future versions. So it's the steps will be remaining the same. So it is enabling the PHP on Apache. Good. So let us uh, paste this download command. So it is connected. And it is downloading. So it will not take much time. So it is about 5.87 MB. So it's a very light CMS. So let us press LS so you can see that Zybo server has been there and if I press LL it is about uh, you can say the root permissions I have or you can see over here. So now let us uh, unzip it. Paste and tar minus ZXVF Zybo. So it has been unloaded. So let us move this again to the var slash www slash HTML directory. Let us paste it. So now let us give the permissions to the directory so that we can be able to access it. Permissions done. So let us make one uh, media library. Paste it. So everything is available you can say on my video downstairs. So just you have to copy paste all the commands. And it's a very simple commands. So now let us go to the browser. So let us first of all have the IP address of this machine. That is 192.168.117.195. So we have to type this command over here. So let us copy this and let us go to my Windows machine. Let us paste it. So let us replace the server IP to the IP address 192.168.117.195. So now you can see that the Zybo digital signage server has been there but we are getting some warning so we have to retest it okay so we have to just go to uh, encrypt also so errors will be reported so we have to update the database so update db and we have to locate this encrypt file for some missing location so let us update this so it is located over here so let us locate another thing that is my encrypt.so so these are the two files which we have to edit. So let us type this command that is vim slash etc slash php5 slash mod available slash mcrypt dot ini. So now you can see that there is a extension which is written over here. So we just have to take this extension as this one. So just uh, let us go to the ins let us copy this first of all. And let us go to the insert mode and let us delete it and now let us paste it so escape colon wq write and quit so now we have to take some symbolic links so that we can associate and we should not find any error paste it and another file for mcrypt And now we have to restart the Apache server. So service Apache to restart. So it has been restarted and now let us go to this. So now you can find that the next button was not activated. So everything has gone fine. So click on next. Now you can find the host as localhost, admin user as root. So let us give the admin uh, name as my name. Database name we can take as Zybo. Database user we can take as Zybo. We can take the password and now press next. And now we have to provide the admin username. So 
admin and password click on next so library location which we have already discussed that is slash media slash zybo hyphen library so click next and now we have to just log in so voila so this is the zybo cms which you can see all the campaigns the layouts the resolutions the displays everything is being working very fine so in this video i have shown you how to install and deploy zybo cms it's a very light operating uh, you can say operating based uh, cms so do give it a shot and you and you can find all the commands which we have used in this video downstairs thank you so much